It has been 324 days since the last Red Dead Online update and we're fast approaching that one year mark. During that time, Red Dead fans have seen GTA get a lot of content. They had the Tuners update last year, the GTA Trilogy, the GTA Contracts which was released in December and the GTA 5 next gen release. And for those looking to play as a cowboy in the Wild West, there's been nothing and now we're approaching a point where normally we get news about the new DLC but we don't know 100% if that's going to happen and if we do get anything there's no guarantee that it is going to be anything good so in this video I've put together a list of all the content that players are just dying to see within this game Before we do get into the video though, I want to let you know about a project that I've been working on. It's no secret that I've created a lot of gaming channels and because I've created so many, I know how to get them partnered in about one to two months without needing to promote them on other social media accounts. And I always get asked, how do I do it? That's why I've created an in-depth class on Skillshare. It goes through the basics of creating a new YouTube channel, but it quickly scales up into doing keyword research, planning videos, recording, editing, creating thumbnails, and eventually getting monetized, where you can actually start running your YouTube channel like a business by outsourcing the work. If you're interested in having your own gaming channel, then there is a link in the description down below, as well as you can find it as the pinned comment, and that will give you a free month of Skillshare where you can use that time to watch through my class, and at the end of it, you will understand everything that you need to know. So links to everything can be found in the description down below. Getting back into the video, there's no guarantee that any of the updates included within this video will be part of the summer update. In fact, it's extremely unlikely, but it doesn't stop other players talking about new content they would like to see. And of course, I can't include everything within this video, so let me know in the comment section down below what content you would like to see for this summer. Starting off, Right at the top of this list is properties. So many players have wanted properties to be part of this game ever since the release back in 2018. In the three and a half years of this game being out, there is only one property, and this is the Moonshine Shack. This is what you need to buy into to have access to the Moonshine role. And that will give you new missions as well as a new way to earn money by doing deliveries. It was great having this as our first property, but now that it has been three and a half years, I think it is about time in which we're able to buy a home for our character. Now, for loads of people, they do just like the idea of being able to buy your own place. For me personally, I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough just to be able to buy your own place and let that be that. There needs to be content behind it for there to be a purpose for you to buy into the property. This is where it links into our next major point for this video. Easily the most requested content that players would like to see within the game is heist. Loads of people would like to see a very similar layer to what GTA Online has, where you would need to buy into an apartment, and once you buy into that apartment, that is when you can have access to the first lot of heists. Now, if you were to ask me a few years ago how I would like to see heists implemented into Red Dead, I would say not exactly the same as GTA, but as it has been so long and heists is still the most requested content that players would like to see within the game, I would say whatever's easiest for Rockstar to implement so that we can actually have this content. If that means doing it exactly the same as GTA, by all means, implement it and let's just go straight ahead with it. If Rockstar was to implement Heist into Red Dead Online, not only would it be great content, but if it's done correctly, I'm pretty sure most fans would forget about this whole last year of having no content. In fact, they would probably even forget the years before that where the content that was delivered wasn't that good. Now, last year in 2021, the only update that we did get was the Blood Money update. And when it was first advertised, it did bring in outlaw activities and was slightly touching on there being opportunities, which at the time we thought were going to be in a style of setting up and actually going through a heist. Unfortunately, when that update did release, it was nowhere near what we expected. They were very linear, straight to the point, and they were just not what we really wanted. Especially considering the content that was delivered was pretty much just reskin content that was already in the game. If Rockstar didn't include the blood money crimes and instead focus on the free opportunities and made them into proper highs where we were able to have initial setups 
and then go through these opportunities as you would be able to switch between the ruby diamond and emerald it would have been a thousand times better completely remove capitali because that would no longer be needed it would be just about the setup the buy-in and then going into the content this is all fans really want and number three personally my favorite on this list is a rockstar editor and a rockstar creator now i can't help but think if rockstar was to implement a rockstar creator before this last year we would not have had an issue yes it would be nice to have better content actually published by rockstar themselves but with a rockstar creator it wouldn't be as bad because we would have user generated content players being able to create their very own playlists, their very own races their very own missions whatever it is and it would have been so much better than not having anything or pretty much the updates that we're getting on a monthly basis which gives us discounts on food items which no one really cares about i fully understand that it is too late to complain about this but once we do go and get a new update whenever that is going to be if it did include a rockstar editor or a rockstar creator it makes life better for when this happens again in the future and i'm sure it probably will happen again at some point within the future number four something that i didn't think was going to be on this list but it has been more of a demand over the last couple of months which is to finish a land of opportunity missions if you're not sure what a land of opportunity is well i don't know what you've been doing because these are the main missions that you have within red dead when you are broken out of prison right at the beginning you meet holly and jessica this is where you find out the introduction of the whole red dead online story that story still isn't finished and it has been three years since we've had any missions around jessica leclerc now i believe and i can't actually prove this but i believe that rockstar were looking to implement other types of roles which had other characters and that would eventually branch into a land of opportunity very similar to within 2019 where we did get the last lot of missions with Jessica Leclerc in that exact same year we also got the Moonshiner update which allowed players to meet Maggie Fike and also Marcel. Marcel used to be the cook for Jessica Leclerc and the Moonshine missions were also left open-ended as she partnered up right towards the end but we've never had anything else on top of this. Now this was just my speculation of what i thought rockstar were doing i said got no evidence to prove this it was just a theory but for whatever reason it is rockstar stopped and they haven't shown any intent of looking to push more content to a land of opportunity or a life of shine and for a lot of fans they do just want the content to win it's not going to be the craziest content and it's not the most desirable but at least it puts an end in to something within this game the next thing on my list and it isn't really red dead online related but it is red dead redemption related as it is a remaster for rdr red dead redemption had its 12th year anniversary and just like last year the year before that the year before that and pretty much every year since its release there has been speculation building up that on the anniversary rockstar will announce a new remaster for the game where you can use it on next gen consoles and of course this year the same as every other year it's never happened but that doesn't mean that it's never going to happen within the future the gta trilogy was a huge success and i could really see red dead redemption also doing well if it was re-released now some fans are hoping that at some point red dead redemption 2 will have a next gen release and at the exact same time that this happens this is where we'll get a red dead redemption 1 remaster now if that's going to happen i really couldn't say but if this was announced within the summer most people wouldn't be too bothered about a red dead online update in fact a lot of fans would much rather see this than an update because most already see that the game is dead we did discuss it in a previous video but the likelihood of there being a new update at some point this year is likely to happen because it is still a money maker and despite how many people say that rockstar focus on gta more because it makes more money yes to a certain degree that is true but also there's no correlation between rockstar focusing on red dead and gta and it having a negative impact on the amount of money that gta online is able to make it's only times when there's other projects in the work which are struggling to release which is when they need to drop red dead because the likes of the gta trilogy and the gta 5 next gen release 
was able to make a lot more money combined five Red Dead Online updates spread across the next two years. But despite being likely that a new update will arrive, the chances of content being released done to an exceptionally high standard, the best update that we've ever had in Red Dead as an apology for having no content over the last year, I think is pretty low. Remember, for the longest time, there was no activity with content being pushed to Red Dead that was actually being tested behind the scenes. That's when they was focusing on the GTA trilogy and the GTA 5 next gen release. This was a long break from Red Dead and even though development for Red Dead Online has started again, I do think it's unlikely for Rockstar to pick up exactly where they left off and hit the ground running, especially considering they haven't been able to run with Red Dead since this game was first released back in 2018. Now it is worth mentioning that with all the content that we've said, we would all love for it to happen, but there's also some stuff that we definitely do not want to see. And this is role expansions, especially if they're done to a similar level as the Bounty Hunter Enhancement. There has only been one ever role expansion within the game, that being a Bounty Hunter, despite Rockstar saying that there was going to be a hell of a lot more, it has only been the Bounty Hunter and when it was done, it gave an extra 10 ranks, there was a huge nerf which was the main focal point of the update, three new legendary bounties and then rank unlocks which no one really cared about. If we ended up having just one of these after a year's break, then yeah, that really is a kick in the face. The only way that I can see a role expansion doing well at this point is if a role expansion was to go across multiple roles at the exact same time and give in more content than what we had within the Bounty Hunter Enhancement. It can't just be an extra 10 ranks, it needs to be game changing content. Anyway guys, here are just some of the things that players would like to see for content with the summer update. If any of these updates were released, it would be seen as a redeeming factor. For a lot of fans, they would forgive there being a lack of content for the last year, as long as it is done correctly. Let me know in the comment section down below, would you like to see any of the updates that we've included as part of this video, or are you looking for something different? Leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see ya.